Today, we're gonna to be exploring Seoul on a budget. We have 50,000 won to spend today. Now that is 36 US dollars for both of us and Seoul can be quite expensive. First things first, guys, we're gonna be grabbing some breakfast. So we've come to Isaac Toast and Coffee. So it looks like there's only five options here. You can see they're cooking it right here. Bank of England. So it's uh, 8,100. 8,000, right. okay. So uh, this is like a cheap breakfast option here in South Korea. And actually breakfast isn't too much of a thing here. Like mm. it's not like they have so many breakfast options. So Isaac Toast is probably one of the famous ones. So it looks like this is ours here. We've got the beef, we've got some ham. They're toasting the bread just over here. And here's the egg. Oh, I think that's like some butter that she just put there. Okay, she's buttering up the surface. She's toasting the bread. Gonna get nice and buttery. We've got the omelette over here with uh, some kind of pickles. And we've, mm. uh, we've got the beef just over here with the ham. So she's now plating up the toast. Got some sauce. I think it's a little bit of a chili sauce, maybe some barbecue sauce. We've got some kind of vegetables. What vegetable did you make? I think it's a cabbage. Some kind of cabbage. There we go. Oh god, my mouth's watering. Yeah, same my way. mouth is watering. <laughs> I can grab it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come to me Come to me there. All right. So we have our Isaac toast. So we have come to this area to have our Isaac toast. Let's be careful. There's this beautiful stream in the middle of the city. Our aim is to go and eat over there where there's like a flower bench. I absolutely love that, that there's a beautiful stream with the running water just in the middle of the city and you can just walk along it. Mm. They're very sweet. Mm. Very tasty though. That's the inside there. So you have the meat flavor, because the patty is quite quite big. And you got some vegetables, you got that sweet kind of barbecue sauce. I think they added some kind of like chili uh, or sweet, sweet like chili sauce to it. So I'm just uh, eating the rest of my grilled sandwich or toast. Yes. For me, this is like a sandwich mm -hmm. in England. Yeah, it looks like it and I'm getting mine. This is the ham special. Mm. Perfect. It's Everything good. that you need. <laughs> some um, eggs, some ham, some cheese, some vegetables, and a nice bread. Is it quite sweet as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's a kind of like a sauce that it's making it sweeter. I think all of the toast options are sweet. So mm -hmm. if you li like like sweet food, then uh, it's going to be good for you. If you don't like sweet food, then mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a problem. We've just eaten Isaac toast. I am super full, really filling. My hands are kind of sticky, so perfect place just to wash your hands. There we go. Get rid of that sweet, sticky sauce. And we have this donut here. Where are we heading to next, Carolina? Obviously for the coffee. It is coffee time. We are at Mega Coffee. Now, this is one of the budget coffee options you can have. You can also go to Pike's. Pike's Coffee, coffee. or Compost. And also with Isaac Toast, you can also go to Egg Drop, but uh, we haven't been to Egg Drop. So let us know which one's better, Isaac Toast, Egg Drop, but uh, let's go order Carolina a coffee. Can we order a hot Americano? Hot Americano, that's uh, Just one, thank you. 1,500 uh, 1,500. Okay, that's nice. So you've got all our uh, coffee options here. You've also got some tea options, even some kind of milk tea. Come some now. We got some change there. Okay, we have our Americano. Oh, it's hot. Very hot. That's nice. So Carolina has got her coffee fix. We're going to be heading down to the stream again. So you'll have these kind of staircases that leads you down to the beautiful stream. Look at that. Right in the heart of this city. So what we're going to do is see how far we can go along this stream and hopefully it's not going to take us outside of the city, but I don't think so. Nowhere in the world have I ever seen a stream 
that goes this far in the heart of a city. It's absolutely amazing. And actually I was looking on neighbor maps and it says that it's 47 minutes towards the plaza, which is the end. And we've already been walking for about 15. So almost an hour long Crazy. all the way to the end. It's great. Like if I was living here, I'd be coming and doing this for exercise because it's just really peaceful and you can't hear the traffic because we're kind of surrounded by these high walls on this side and obviously the buildings as well but there's traffic going along either side and you can't hear it so it's really peaceful so we are still walking along the stream and look we are surrounded by these kind of skyscrapers on either side just like that it makes it really interesting to walk because you're in nature but literally on your doorstep you also have kind of the modern side the modern buildings just over there we have made it to Myong Dong as you can hear there is a lot going on in this area it's a very popular tourist area now this is the vibe and uh, we're going to talk a bit loudly so there's no copyright on the music but you've got these beautiful you know, buildings here there's a lot of people and a lot of shops so yeah. people can actually find the things for themselves and you can just go around here the trucks come in this way so <laughs> uh, you can come here people watch walk around enjoy the kind of music like that and uh, yeah it's nice but as in all tourist places the prices are more expensive so the locals don't actually recommend the street food here uh, but we're gonna be going somewhere later on for uh, what we think is better and probably more uh, value for money in terms of the street food and probably tastier all right guys so we are at Bath pronounced without the H and so we're gonna head inside we're gonna show you a little trick that we have to get some kind of free snacks now this entire store is almonds flavored almonds so you've got honey butter almond wasabi almond baked corn there are so many options now this is what we recommend coming for it's amazing because you can actually taste different flavors so you can actually see what you like the most yeah and there is a ton of flavors so you can literally try all of these and all of them along there you can see you got a little tasting one so I think we're gonna go for the tiramisu. I like the tiramisu. Mm. You wanna grab one, Carolina? Yeah. One for you. All right. One for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try these. <laughs> mm. They're so good. The inside. Mm -hmm. We came here yesterday, and the main store doesn't have the tasting. Mm. So we were just there, but yesterday we came, and we literally tried all of these. So. Mm. Let's try another one. So we have the tiramisu. I think the honey... I really like the honey one. I think this is the iconic one. Look how cute the packaging is. Honey butter almond. Mm. All right, let's give this one a try. Mm. So good. It makes the almonds just so good. Like, usually almonds are a little bit plain and boring. Mm -hmm. So good. Funny thing behind the scenes. These speakers were blaring out with music. And actually, um, H bath, so bath, it's healthy but awesome flavors. <laughs> oh, really? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Okay. But they actually lowered the music down so that we could not get a copyright claim or strike. Okay, there's cookies and cream. All right, let, let, which one do you want to go for next? I actually want to go for the matcha one. Oh, no, matcha <laughs> is not my, this one's not my favorite. I have a matcha flavor. My All sister right. would love that. <laughs> yeah. All right, try that one. All right, let's. Uh, mm. Pick another one. It's so, a very strong matcha flavor. Oh, I'm gonna try this uh, hazelnut one. So currently you could do the honors. It's amazing because actually each flavor is very distinctive. Yeah, they're completely different flavors. Mm. Mm. Amazing. The hazelnut really comes through that one. Super mm. tasty, ah. Cause actually, I think it's maybe got some chocolate in there mm -hmm. as well. All right, one more flavor. I think let's come around here. Ooh, I think the caramel salted almond and pretzel. Okay, so we've actually got some pretzels and almonds in this one. So you need to have it together, I guess. I think you might have to have it together, yeah. So 
Oh. <laughs> oops. A little oopsie so there, fancy. but uh, <laughs> this is. You have it all in one go. Mmm. The saltiness of the pretzel combines with the caramel. Oh, that's such a good mm. flavor. Mm. I think this one might be my favorite one. So, guys, this is sold on a budget. You can come and try this for free. But for us, we're going to buy some because we actually really like it. And mm. let's go grab the one we actually want to get. So, you have these kind of packs over here, actually. So, we've got, I think, 55 bags in this one here. You can see 55. But um, this one here actually looks even bigger. Mm. But the one we want to go for is this one here. So you've got 30 bags in this one. And this will be a great snack for us while we're here in Korea. Mm. We love going to the convenience stores and uh, buying the snacks, but I guess this will be our snacks for a while. Mm. It's a good choice. <laughs> yeah. All the flavors, yeah. All in one. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry there. Mm. All right, so we got our bag. So how much did that come to? That was 13,000? Uh, yeah, 900, so, 13. so pretty much 14,000, 13,900. We'll say bye to, I think this is their kind of mascot. Say bye. We spent so far 23,500, so almost half of our 50,000 kind of budget for today. As you can see, there is a lot of people here in Myeongdong. Next up, we're heading into CU to grab a very special drink that is close to my heart here in Korea. All right, let's see what we can find. Drinks, I don't know. All right, I think this is the right section. Can you guys guess what I'm gonna come for? He's literally having it every day, twice per day. <laughs> I'm addicted to banana milk. I have my banana milk. And uh, this is gonna cost 2,000. This is why I got it. Hello. There we go. There we go. So it's 1,700. Come some of that. All right. Oh, the straw. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Mission accomplished. I just want to say a big shout out to HW, who's bought 30 drinks for us. You said keep up with the consistent uploads and again I'm gonna to have to speak loud because of this let me move quickly <laughs> and that's the problem we're having in this area because of music yeah but 30 drinks you bought us that is so generous that's absolutely amazing we are gonna be making a ton of content here in South Korea because it's very expensive we have to make a lot more videos so uh, thank you for the uh, the drinks oh yeah Banana milk is, uh, <laughs> I'm just seeing in front of me, people are getting scared because I'm talking. I don't think they're used to uh, like my voice or people like me. But um, banana milk is really popular here in South Korea. So I've gone for the banana milk and there's again more music. Hopefully I don't get a copyright. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, next up guys, we are going up the end tower here, the Namsan Tower, but you can see there's a lot of people. There's a massive line going this way. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> people are just uh, bumping into me, but if you want to take the cable car, I think you have to wait for a very long time to get into there. And you can see the cable car just comes from there and over to the mountain, but it's, it costs uh, 14,000 won per person. So this is sold on a budget. So we're going to be hiking up the mountain just up there. So we are going to the Namsan Seoul Tower. It's going to take 1,160 meters. You can take the cable car like we saw earlier, but it's going to be costing you quite a bit. And actually, it's only about 30 to 40 minutes to hike up. So you can get a good work out, good exercise, get some fresh air because actually we're surrounded by kind of nature. And uh, I get the cable car, like it's kind of fun and you get to see another perspective, but I think equally as good is actually climbing up. It's what we like more. <laughs> yeah, it's more for us. I get other people, maybe you know, elderly or families, yeah. or, maybe, or maybe they're lazy, but I'm not gonna say anything about that. Okay, let's put this into here. Oh, come on, go. 
Take it, there we go. And we've got 500 in here. One, two, three, four. And the last one, Karin's gonna put in five. five. And Actually, only the ones that you can go for are lit up. Look, these yeah. ones are like kind of crossed out there but we've got a green here so let's click green and there we go and let's grab this one there we go i wonder what this is going to taste like so they're quite big on recycling here in south korea it's nice got plastic over there and your coffee cup do you want to put the coffee cup into plastic i'll take plastic this one is plastic that's plastic and that's and this general one waste dinner. yes okay so we've got our drinks to drink but should we show them the view first okay we're going to show you the guys the view just over here this is our first time seeing this view as well so we just have to walk to the end here oh there's such a nice uh, such a nice breeze so you get quite sweaty walking up to the top but then once you're towards the top it's really cool but uh, you can see quite a few people here but uh, let's try and sneak in a shot Oh, okay. Uh, let's go down here. Oh, don't want to get in people's uh, photos. I think this is good. Let's sneak in here. So, look at that, guys. Check that out. It's super impressive. Especially with the jungle in front of us, right? Yeah, and I really like how we've got the mountain here with the nature. Just like here. And then you've got the city over here and then you've got the mountains in the background yeah. it's so much better having two people to help you rather than just one for the acknowledgement <laughs> honestly guys having four hands instead of two when you're doing youtube is just so much easier are you going to be good with yours oh yeah that's good cheers it's like apple tizer it's, it's got kiwi look it looks like a kiwi but it tastes more like apple Mine is like pomegranate. Mm. Mm. And in uh, South Korea, they have a big focus on zero sugar. Yeah, zero sugar. So you got zero just there. But yeah, really nice. We could have just refilled our water because there's like water refilling stations to wash your hands or to, to drink the water. But hey, this is a part of the budget, so why not? It's getting pretty crazy here on the bus. <laughs> Everyone's getting off. Oh, kind of stuck here, but uh, it's okay. It was very busy, obviously, in the top of the tower, so the whole bus was full. You can see. <laughs> now we have some more space. Thank you. We have come to Nam Dai Mun Market for some street food. After the climb up to the end tower, we're feeling quite hungry now, and this street looks like a really good street. There's lots of queues happening. So definitely there is some really good street food. And actually, I think the street food at Myeong Dong is more expensive and maybe not as good mm. from what I've been reading from the, the people living here in Seoul. So yeah, and actually there's uh, more locals here, not yeah. tourists. Not as many tourists, yeah. And you can see all these queues are for the food. So we're going for what looks like a kind of sausage stick with rice on it. Okay, from Samida. So it looks like there's sausage and this rice with like a kind of sweet sticky sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try it first. Tell Boki the rice cake. Looks like this. Yeah. Some kind of mm -hmm. sweet sticky sauce it looks like. Mm -hmm. Is it spicy? It's kind of chewy. The sauce is sweet, it's not spicy at all. Mm -hmm. And it, it has the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's uh, a rite of passage if you're having mm. this. I think this is Tebokki, but I don't know what the name for the whole stick is. But, this uh, one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in Korean letters. Mm. But uh, nice. they can let us know in the comments. Shall mm. I try this? Uh, yeah, let's try this out. Mm. I really like it. Yeah. We tried this one as uh, like cooked version, but mm. this one is more like grilled, mm. grilled and soft inside. It tastes like a, a little bit of spice there, mm. a barbecue sweet flavor mm. and chewy. I really like it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. It seems also like a popular option here. I like the texture. Mm. Mm. Like the basic food that everyone would have as a street food. Mm. Mm. The sausage lover. Mm. Yeah, I like that. What's mm. the meat like? Is it beef or is it pork? It's, I'm pretty sure it's pork. You got like a porky flavor, but then you have that kind of sweet, kind of spicy sauce. It's really good. Mmm, I really like that. No, this no, is no. so good, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be like that. Mmm. Hello. Uh, and I say, uh, we have uh, one and one. Oh, one, uh, one. Okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. You see, they're like fluffy pancakes, guys. It's delicious. I think he's gonna. He's got the dough inside of here. He's putting in some of the kind of fillings. So we've got uh, honey seed and golden sweet potato. This is a honey seed. Yeah. 아, 잠시만요. 손님, 아니요. 줄 쓰셔야 되는데. 네, 죄송합니다. 이쪽으로 오세요. 네. 하니. 하니. 하니 원 나왔네. 어. 많이 인더 버스. 인더 버스. 2000. 어, 2000. 예. 아. And then take 2000. 2000. 예. 오케이. 땡큐. 굿. 이게. 오케이. 하니 씨들. 감사합니다. 네. 감사합니다. 네. 하니 씨들. 어, 에너더 원 나왔네. 알겠습니다. 앤 스윗 포테이토. 아, 스윗 포테이토. 예. 감사합니다. 바이. 네. So come to this place guys in uh, Nam Daimon, such a nice guy and he's he's very popular, you can see there's a queue all the way down there. Alright, should we try these here? Yes. Alright guys, so I've got the honey seed hot tuk and you've got the sweet potato. I'm gonna bite it, I've got, I've got one hand free, so... Oh. Hot! Mmm! Wow! Mm -mm. So hot! Mmm! <laughs> That is delicious. Yeah. Mine is like mushy and mm. sweet. I really like it. That is, I think, the best street food I've had in Korea. Because it's like... A, like so good. I don't know. Like it's got a, honey inside with some kind of seeds. Hello. Uh, we have three uh, and three kimchi. Meat and kimchi. Oh, thank you. See so all these beautiful kind of dumplings here. We're getting a mix. You can get... Uh, Meat and kimchi. Come to me there. So that cost uh, 5,000. This place was absolutely buzzing every single time we've walked past. So you can get the meat ones, the kimchi ones, and you can get a mix. So we've got some kimchi, some meat, and only 5,000. So now, how much uh, do we have left? So we've spent. I think we've. Bank of England knows all the financial Around stuff. 42. Before we head on to spend the remaining 7,001, we're gonna have some of these bows. So, uh, should I just grab one? Yep. Oh. All right, there we go. Okay, this is the kimchi one. Okay, very, still very hot. Let's try this one out. Oh, it's the meat one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wait. I think it's kimchi. There's kimchi in there as well, I think. Let me try it. Mm. Mm. Motorbike going through all the crowd. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's kimchi. I really like it. It's like stew kimchi. Mm -hmm. It's uh, got a bit of a kick from the kimchi and you've got some meat inside there, but I'm wondering what's inside the other one then, if this is kimchi and meat. Mm. So now it's time for the meat one. See, they're making them all fresh just behind us here. Mm. Are they still quite warm, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know which I like more. Mm. These are really fresh. You can see them making them and there's so much business here. They have to keep making them fresh. Very good. The meat is um, kind of like uh, not a very distinctive flavor and mm. there's also some vegetables. Mm. This one is a nice one. But I like kimchi too. This one I prefer. It's got more of the meaty flavor though. Mm. Other one is a little bit more overpowered by the kimchi. Mm. This one's really good. So we are at CU again. We're gonna head inside and grab some something special, something we haven't tried before. <laughs> Hello, Anasayo. <laughs> okay, so we've got seven thousand left. So what should we spend it at the end of a long day? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so this one, I think there's a different flavors. There's a blue one, there's this one. I don't know what the flavors are. Maybe we should translate it on Google Translate. So we're gonna go for this one, which we translated it as a classic. Mm -hmm. And this one, which I'm not sure, but it says fresh. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
Let's grab these. And we've got our drinks, but I think we've got to put these away. I don't think you can drink them in the convenience I, stores. I, I thought that actually you can sit outside and drink it, but maybe yeah. actually, you know, maybe that's not what people it's, are doing here. It's a public, I think in public places you can't drink. And so I think outside or inside, I don't think they have a license to actually consume the alcohol. You have a license to sell it. So we need to find a secret spot to try our very first soju. We have our glasses. We can't drink uh, in the convenience store. Yeah. So we have brought the party to our room. <laughs> All right. So this is the original one, which we are going to try yeah. first. We got these kind of small glasses in our accommodation at Airbnb. So uh, what does it smell mm. like? Like, oh, it's all strong. Whoa. Whoa. It's like fresh, but strong. <laughs> Maybe we just needed the one bottle, but we had some leftover change. Okay, okay that's one. I'm so curious. It's, it's got like a fruity yeah. smell to it. All right, cheers, guys. Let's drink this. Do we drink it? I'm just going to sip it, see what it's like. Oh. Ooh. <coughs> I thought uh, Polish vodka was strong. I thought that Karen is to... Polish, by the way, so she can handle that alcohol a lot more. Than yeah, you. to be honest, I thought it's going to be more like wine flavor, not like Ooh. spirit or like... Okay, let's try and drink it all in one. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Oh. That's true. Yeah. Oh, my, my reaction. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, it's strong. The classic one is uh, pretty strong and I, it doesn't really have too much flavor to it. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a straight liquor. Yeah. Ooh. Should we try the uh, yeah. fresh one or should we have a break? <laughs> We're going to try this one now. All right. You want to do the honors? I'll actually, I'll uh, pour. All right. I feel like some kind of school kid drinking in our room. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hiding. Hiding, yeah. yeah. But to be honest, for people that are not I'm like put a little bit less in. drinking that much, for us it's quite strong. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put a little bit less in there. That's yours. No, you can drink this one. Oh. You got to drink that. Come on, Carolina. Carolina is the Polish. She, she's the Polish one. She she should have uh, you know the genes to handle it. I'm Indian, so I definitely don't handle alcohol very well. All right. All right. There we go. <laughs> Fresh. How do you say? Wait. How do you say cheers in? Uh, can we look it up yeah. in in Korean? Actually, so important. Yeah, we always basically are looking at Google Translate, and we're using that to basically come up with all of the uh, Korean, and also using the picture mode because the Korean lettering is very hard for us. So we've looked up cheers in Korean, and it sounds like this. Kombe. <laughs> Kombe. 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 Okay. All right. Kombe. <laughs> All in one. Oh, Ooh, that's not as uh, strong. This one Ooh. is much better for me. Oh my god, it's still very strong. Like mm. I don't know. I don't think you're supposed to mix soju, but Ooh, that's gonna be. What percentage is it? Does it say? I don't know what percentage it is. I think this one is eight. I don't know. Let us know in the comments what percentage soju is and what is your favorite soju. All right, guys. So how much have we spent today? We had a challenge of 50,000. Have we met that? So for today, we have spent 48,600. And that was pretty much for a full day of activities. It's getting quite dark right now. So we hope you enjoyed this video. We've got lots more content coming your way for Seoul and the rest of South Korea. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.